All right, guys, so I am finally starting to report on these laser blades, the self-sharpening blades. So I want to show you the worst freaking scenario with these blades that I could have. So these blades right here, they were sitting out in the bed of my truck the last couple days and it's raining every day. So you're going to see some little rusty spots. Um, anyways, this is 76 hours on these blades, 76 hours. So the, you can see that they're chewed up. This is where all the, you know, it's got this, um, you know, this material that's on the blade that does all the self sharpening, even with 76 hours. And no, I did not use these on a, um, you know, on nice grass or anything. I didn't use it out here. Um, I use this on this one particular property where it's not even really grass. Um, after about 48 to 50 hours, the last like 20 hours, um, I ended up putting it on this one particular property. Um, but these things are pretty crazy, man. Even, even though it's dull and they're torn up, there's still a, there's still a bite on this right here. And this isn't the dullest thing ever right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's just pretty crazy. Um, these things work, man. I'll tell you, this is 76 hours. Well, roughly about that. Um, 76 hours on these things, man. Yeah, they're tore up and you know, you got balancing issues and all this stuff when you run a blade this long, blah, 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 blah. But I really wanted to just push these to see how far I could take these. Um, this one's a little worse. Um, this one's not as bad, uh, but like I said, man, you could, you could actually, if you were desperate and you just had, you know, weedy yards, you could keep mowing with this if you wanted to. Um, but it's just nuts, man. These things work really, really well. 76 hours on these things right here, 76 hours. And I've seen a lot worse blades. That's, you know, I've never even had 76 hours. I can't even say that. I've seen blades look worse than this after about the third sharpening. So, <clears throat> I mean, this is probably a good, I don't know, um, depends on how you sharpen them, how often you sharpen them, but at least, you know, a good couple of dozen times um, worth of sharpening. So I figure I've gone through a couple of sets of blades by then um, for what you know for what i've gotten out of these um, they work they i'm pretty impressed man i'm pretty impressed i really am so these are the laser edge self-sharpening blades 76 freaking hours bros 76 hours on those all right so i'm waiting for the guys to get here um again man 76 hours on those things that's pretty nuts that's pretty nuts man um so you have a, a rough price tag of like what 130 bucks for these blades so you i'm gonna say you could probably stretch out at least a couple of sets of blades um depending on the grass type the situation if it's wet it's not wet you know i probably with as wet as it is and all that i probably would have almost gone through three sets of blades with just how wet it is and and how often I'm having to sharpen them because of how wet everything is down here. So at least two sets. So at least two sets running you anywhere from, you know, what, 80 bucks to 120 bucks for set of blades. So for, for two sets for the 60 inch skag. Um, they're still on the Gravely. We're at, um, we're about, man, what are we? I don't know, we're almost 50 hours on those. Um, I, I'm gonna mow with that today and I'll show you guys. So anyways, um, you know, anywhere from 100, uh, 80, let's see, if you get the copper heads, you know, 60 for a 61 inch cheetah, you get the copper heads, um, they're about, what, 40 bucks for the set. So 80 for two, over 100 for some, you know, better versions versus 130 bucks. So look at it this way, okay? You go to a restaurant, you don't have to do anything. You spend them, you spend more money on the food at a restaurant, but it's worth it because you just want to have a good time. You don't want to have to get in the kitchen and cook anything. <laughs> I don't cook anyways. So you know what I'm saying? You get my point, man. You get my point. So my point is this. 
I'm trying to make a point. Um, it's a matter of just deciding how you want to live your day, man. <clears throat> I can't stand mowing. I mean, I can't stand uh, sharpening blades. I do not wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to sharpen some blades today. Yeah. Start doing a little dance. That's not me. I don't do that. So I didn't feel like sitting in the truck anymore. Um, so anyway, I can't stand sharpening blades. I can't stand it. So it's like this, like I said, you go to a restaurant, you don't have to pay. You know, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You're paying extra uh, because of the convenience. You go to a convenience store, you're paying a little bit more because of the convenience for the convenience. So these blades are gonna cost you um, probably around 15 to 20 bucks more um, per set of blades for a couple of blades. So an extra maybe, well, do if you if you have a skag and you're getting the Marbane, it's the same price. And these blow that away. I mean, blow it away. I'm sorry, but I've tried the Marbanes. I've, I've bought them a couple times, times, and um, I don't like them. Um, they they don't last any longer than anything else. So total waste of money in my opinion. Those things are a joke. Um, sorry, I shouldn't be mean, but those things are a joke, man. Do not waste your money on Marbane blades. I think that's what they are, Marbane. Um, but anyways, so 130 bucks for these and you don't have to take them off. You don't have to sharpen them. You can get a good, solid, clean, nice cut for about 50 hours on these things before you have to take them off. Before you have to sharpen them, you know what I'm saying? I sharpen like every week. And you know, with these, you're not sharpening them every week. So you don't sharpen them at all. You don't touch them until you take them off the mower. So I've had a bunch of you guys ask me, is it worth it? That, I can't answer that for you, so I can't answer that. If you love sharpening blades, it's not worth it. If you love to sharpen blades, if you love getting on your back, taking them off, sitting there on a grinder and that's satisfying to you, which it is to some people, if you like doing that, don't waste your money on these. If you share my sentiment in that, good God, crap, I have to take the blades off and sharpen them, dude, all day unless you're never gonna buy blades again these are worth every freaking penny man I'm gonna buy some more they're they're just they're awesome I actually bought some I have some coming but um, these things are awesome man I love them I think that uh, I think they're great and the cut the cut is phenomenal man that the cut you don't notice a loss or anything. Um, we've, we've mowed these. It's been mowing down here in Florida like every dang day. We have mowed some nasty thick St. Augustine grass. And this goes through it like like butter. It goes through it. It's like butter, you know what I mean? It goes through it and it works and it's not a gimmick. I'll tell you that right now. These, these things are not a gimmick. So I'm not gonna keep ranting on them about these, but like I said, you guys know that I repeat myself a lot, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I, maybe I should write a script or something. So 15 bucks more basically per set of blades is what you're gonna spend on these um, to not have to sharpen them anymore. And that's worth it to me. So again, about 80 bucks for these two. Um, I'm just gonna go on the small side instead of three sets, two sets at least. Um, so 80 bucks versus um, 130 bucks. So that right there is 50 more bucks for the cheapest blades that you can get on your mower. The cheapest blades that I could get for this gag, it's 50 bucks more to have the laser edge on there. So even that, having the cheapest blades I can get, the 50 extra bucks, is worth 76 hours of not having to sharpen my blades all day long. But you get some nicer blades, it's gonna cost you about, what, 50, 60 bucks for a set of blades. Um, so you're 120 bucks, so you're almost the same price. So, you know, you just gotta finagle that. You, you just gotta work around it, man. It costs more, and it's worth it to me. So, we're gonna get some more. So the guys are, uh, the guys are gonna come out here, and there's gonna be eight of us out here knocking this place out. This place is, I love doing this place, um, but it's been a real pain in the butt because it's been raining every day and we're trying to get the weeds down. I think I finally got them down over here in the tennis court. Yeah, they're all they're all finally gone. So, you know, I, I, I love rock, but I really hate, you know, long edge lines with rock. Um, you know, it's a pain. We usually just weed eat it. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is maybe, I'm trying to edge it out to where there's a good little, maybe half an inch barrier between the edge line and the rock. 
Um, that way we can just put a nice hard edge on it. Otherwise we just use a weed eater lightly, but the rock is pretty heavy, so it's not picking it up and throwing it. It's good like two, three inch, you know, river stone rock. Um, otherwise, you know, this we haven't been here in a week. The place is looking good though. Um, it's, it's really, it's a pain in the butt, man, when we're trying to deal with all this rain, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let me lighten this up. But trying to deal with all this rain just really sucks. But this has been a week since we've been here. The guys are doing a really good job. Looks great. We got to get that. We got to get that big old thing trimmed up there. Um, I mean, they pretty much have, you know, all of the hedge work on point. Um, it's looking good. We have some furry stuff, um, you know, down there that we got to get. This prop, this is 42. So this property is 42 acres. Um, so we, we kind of have a plan. I break this place up in four sections when we trim hedges. Um, so we have like three guys on weed eaters, two guys trimming hedges, two guys um, running edgers. Um, and then once either the weed eating is done or once the, once somebody, I'll have somebody do all the concrete and then I have somebody do all the beds. Um, so whenever that is done, then they will jump on. Um, there's only two guys that can, well, three guys that can spray. So um, one of those three guys, when they're finished, they will jump on the sprayer and they will just start spraying weeds. And thankfully these weeds, oh my God, they're starting to die. They're dying, this is great. Oh my God, it's been a nightmare, man. People are like, I've got weeds, I've got weeds. It's Florida and it's raining and it's July. Anyway, guys are gonna be pulling up here. I think I'm gonna jump on the Gravely. Um, today have somebody on the skag and uh, we're gonna get it down. All right Psh. Joey Joey, you need help with that man? So that cables broke got to fix that cable because you know everything's always broke right Joey Yes, sir. Something's always broke that there's Richard <laughs> Richard What's up Johnny? I'm What's right. up, baby? What's up, baby? Um, you know just hanging out about to cut these yards about to cut these yards. Yep. We got to get these, see all the, that overgrown Agnes? We got to get all that crap. That crap grows like crack weeds, man. It does. It grows like crack weeds. All right, we're going to get on it.